Welcome back to another post game. Florida Panthers don't go nowhere. Welcome back to another post game Florida Panthers. This is your coach, your coach Frenchy, back in the house for the Hockey Nation Live Show. Uh, for the first time this year, the Florida Panthers lost a second game back to back. Never happened before. Prior to tonight, uh, the record was 9-0-1 after a loss. But uh, obviously tonight he could not uh, make this happen. Uh, they lost again a second game back to back by a score three two again. The Chicago Blackhawks, uh, where Chicago have a little, little most. They struggled more the last 10 game. I believe they have three six one. And uh, but again, Florida. The biggest news was not about the fact they lost the game, but also the fact like the captain uh, Alexander uh, Parkov was scratched before the game with uh, an injury, and uh, that's messed up a little bit the line. Uh, you can see Ashiri play a solid game as the first center of the game uh, for the Panthers, but you can see the team was not properly uh, ready to play that way without Barkov. Uh, they gave a good performance, but not again, not enough to win. And again, the Chicago was all about the same player, Patrick Kane, another two assists during this W for the Chicago um, part, a score three two. So uh, let's do what we like. We do every single time we go post game. We're going to go right away by the score sheet. Um, you know, uh, the first goal of the game was by Kubalik at the first period. Uh, Agel and Murphy have an assist at six twenty four. Um, you can see the first period. Chicago was more uh, hungry. Uh, I think it was, you know, first of all, they come back home after a long trip where it was not successful. Secondly, it was a celebration of Patrick Kane, 1,000 game. So, uh, you know, you can see Chicago was all over the Florida the first 10 minutes. The second half of the first period, it was not too bad for Florida. They come back, but not good enough to score. And uh, the rookie, uh, P P.G. Sutter, uh, he scored his ninth of the year. A uh, great pass for Kane and Zaturov having a, a helper on that one at 18.30. That's going to make um, a big difference in the game. I think at that moment, uh, you can see now a uh, fragile Florida more uh, because, you know, without Barkov, that's not help. And you can see make a difference. The momentum shift really for Chicago after that. Um, so after one, it was 2-0 Chicago. The shot was 11-7 advantage the Blackhawks. And uh, it's only the second period. We have um, for a third goal of the game. Uh, gave the lead by three to Chicago. Carl Soderberg scored his sixth of the year. This one, it was on power play. Kane is second assist of the game. And the brink out, uh, got a helper at 4-30-22. And then I said at that moment myself, I so said, this is over. This not going to give a chance for Florida after three goals without Barkov. I think the offensive was not good enough. But again, four minute letters. Uh, Anton Strongman scored his third of the year. Ashiri and Tippett have an assist. A great play from Ashiri. A great awareness of Strongman to follow the offensive, go all the way down and find the net. And he have nobody to watch him like on the back door. And he scored his third of the year, like I said, at 8 minutes 53. Cut the lead to three to two at that moment, three to one. I said maybe some hope over there, but the rest of the period, uh, nothing happening. Both teams play really uh, up and down, not really too much offensive side. A great opportunity for both teams to score, but nobody did. And um, the final score after two, it was three to one for Chicago. And the shots during the second period, a lot. Both teams have 14 shots on the goaltenders. As during the third period, honestly, Chicago play the way to with the, the score the scoreboard where they just want to leave the time go faster and faster. You can see a, a position of one, two, two more. They don't try to score the four. There was more to be sure they don't give the second goal of the game for the Panthers. And you can see another dimension. Panthers have a couple of chances to score early at the third period, but of course they cannot. And uh, we have to wait until 15-22. Alan Weinberg scored seven of the game at the, at the season on power play. That gave a chance to Panthers maybe to come back and then maybe tie the game the last four minutes, 38 seconds. And Atcheri got his second assist of the game. Roberto got his 25th helper. And um, that's game now the, the score 3-2. to two. Um, Also, the, 
this was uh, at six versus four. And also for the rest of the game, uh, the Chica, um, Panthers removed the goaltender and then they attack about one minute, uh, two minutes something with two minutes 20, I believe. And then they was pretty good around uh, Lincoln, but unfortunately, um, the puck rim around, nobody can catch it. Aaron Eglin tried to reach Jan Mark, and you have to hook him, and that's neutralized, honestly, the, the rest of the game because now Eglin have to be in the binary box, and it was almost over at that moment for the Florida Panthers. Uh, the shadow again, another strong period for the Panthers. That's what he do since the last 20 game, 14-7, uh, uh, but not good enough to win that game, to be honest with you. And unfortunately, they lost for uh, a score of 3-2. That's the second uh, game they lost. And also the second game they lost also on the road. They are 0-2. They have three more to go on the road. Um, uh, the by, by numbers now, you can see the series now is 4-1 for the Florida. It was the first time this year Chicago beat the Florida Panthers. Uh, that give them now for them a 15-13-5 for their... Florida, they are 27-4. The show was 35-32 advantage the Panthers. The face-up square for both teams at 50%. The power play 1-2 for the Panthers, 1-3 for the Blackhawks. The hit was 42-24 uh, from the Panthers. They give, you know, that show to, to you, they, 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 they try. Not they don't give up because Barca was not there. They will try to do the best they can. The black shot was 19-16 for Chicago. Minute penalty, six from Panthers, four for the Chicago. And they gave away puck, it was 13 from the Panthers and 15 for the Blackhawks. The most the point per, um, tonight during the game, as Sherry have two, uh, two helpers for the Panthers. Uh, Patrick Kane also have two helpers for the Blackhawks. Most the shot, both players have five. Uh, Uberto for the Panthers and AGL for the Chicago Blackhawks. And finally, the TOI time on the ice, 25 minutes, 26 seconds for Eggblood and Turn Duncan Keat have 24 24. Finally, for the save uh, for the goaltender, uh, Lincoln in stopped 35, 33 of the 35 shot he faced tonight for the save percentage of 9 4 and 3. And finally, for Trigger, he, he stopped 29 of 32 for a save percentage of Point nine zero six. Uh, like I said, uh, they're shopping up early at the preview game. What you need to know, the, you know, they have to be sure they cover Kane and Kubalik and Kurasev. That's that happened yesterday. And they bring up uh, both of the uh, three of them got four points yesterday. Uh, they be sure they have out of the box. They give a power play goal for sure. But I think, you know, at the end of the day, it was not good enough to be the the Chicago yesterday. I would say Chicago was more hungry. They was all over the place yesterday. They played a solid game against the Panthers. Uh, the plus profile players for the game was Gaston Foslink. Um, honestly, I have no point yesterday. Uh, that gave you that give you an idea what his his record since the beginning of the year. And finally, um, I just want to mention to you the next game is going to be Thursday, March twenty fifth again and. Not in Tampa, but in Chicago. That's another mistake for me. And the three star of the game, uh, Angel for the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, we have second star of the game, Patrick Kane, uh, number 88, with two helper. And finally, the first star, the goaltender, Kevin Lankinen, the rookie, got another W and gave a chance for Chicago uh, to win that game yesterday. So that's concluded the. the Post game for the Florida Panthers. And I just want to invite you, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also Facebook page on the Hockey Nation live show. And what we like to do at the end of each video, Panthers fan, remember, you have what? Of course, greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, great day, everybody. Bonne journée, mes amis. À la prochaine. Jeudi soir pour une autre rencontre des Panthers.